Hey, yo, what's going on with it once again? Bros, women, bros, and packages. This is the one and only, of course, Mr. Inside of Sony Fruits 111, aka Chris, and Guy 2009. Of course, you guys have already seen this before, but again, don't forget to check out freenover.com. Of course, I'll have another thing going on. Fresh channel banners on and a picture made for you. I'll put that link to their YouTube channel. Of course, their original homepage down below. Best part of right or just Google them. Check them out. So, let's begin in 3, 2, 1. Let's get it in. So, again, a third time I keep saying so. So, um, once again, I'm going to give a little bit of a shout out to. Um, Mr. Crap Gamer Reviews, Crap Review Gamers, however you ever say his name. He was actually talking about this thing that was going on with PS4 and Xbox One. They said, like, um, performance is nearly identical, but could help Xbox One in a certain way. That's what the developers are claiming. This was about a couple days ago, 28th. We're in the May 1st already, so it was about three days back. So, I'll read the description. I'll put the link in the article, which I just posted just now, because I always put in the beginning with the annotations or in the description box below. I'm going to make this a half video just to let you people know if I don't get through the whole thing. So it says it's been more than a year since the launch of the PS4 and Xbox One, and we've been seeing some interesting variations in performance. While the PS4 is way more capable of the native 1080p resolutions and third-party titles, the Xbox One was always favored by its anastrophic I don't even know how to say that I think anastrophic filtering but be that as it may it's really hot in here so you guys are gonna bear with me at that grip games Jack and Jacob Misakara means Mikasara Misakara and uh, just some Japanese or whatever I don't know I'm not trying to be racist I'm just saying we recently brought in brought indie shooters Tower of Guns for the PS3 and PS4 and Xbox One believes that there are still similarities in the terms of the GPU performance level. Yes, and it says go on, it goes on to say quote, yes, they're certainly certainly and really similar. And that they certainly are really similar. There you go. They weren't in any performance issues. There weren't any performance issues that would only appear in the one platform. While the games are one handled a lot of them better, both machines have some things that are that are likes and things that they wait what was it hold on sorry if i mix up the words you guys know how i am already um things that they liked and things that they disliked and you have to respect them around the work in general but in general the performance are both nearly identical end quote and it says and it keeps going on and it finishes up the article with saying as for the benefits of the xbox one clouding com computations or computing which we're really able to yet to see Given how much Microsoft has hyped up the prior to the console's release, Mikasas, or Misasikas, I have no idea how to say that name, sorry guys, I don't speak Japanese, believes that it can be helped in various ways. And he still goes on to say again, quote, and can, in certain ways we have already seen some cool examples of them in the Microsoft games. And calculated does not make them in real time can be sent aloud over for power of real time processing. This is very, this of course, heavily has a case-by-case -case scenario. Not every game of the opportunity has something of a chance like that, end quote. And then another quote, but cloud comp computing is coming one way or another. Both Sony and Microsoft are testing the water, so let's see where this goes. And this is thoughts, let us know in the comments below. And um, a lot of people already sounded off to this, so I'm not gonna talk about it. And then there's like two other articles I would have done, but I decided just to do this one. Like um, over 22 million um, Sony PS4 have been sold, but the Xbox One is slowly catching up. That's another video, of course, that crap review gamers have done. Um, check his stuff out. He's really, really chill dude. Sometimes, the other times I kind of disagree with because I know he's an Xbox fanboy a lot more. And most of people know I don't like too much of what Microsoft or Xbox does, except for a finger full, maybe a handful of games that they do. Very few games I agree with. Most of them I'm not really have zero interest in. I'm sorry if you're an Xbox fanboy. Mostly, I'm mostly a Nintendo and Sony fanboy most of the time. Sorry. I don't agree with every single thing that Sony does. I'm not a diehard one like that, but at the same time, same when the same goes for Nintendo. There's like very few games I don't like there. Most of, for the most part, I do love a lot of games on there. Sometimes more than Sony. Other than that, my own thoughts, views, and opinions on this. I know he was talking about this sometimes in a little bit of an attacking sort of way, but sometimes he does come off as a little bit of a freaking smart ass a little bit. And the one he wanna slap the crap out of. But other times, you know, I can agree with them. You know, I could I could um, see eye to eye with the dude, you know? Even though most of the time he's behind the camera. He's not really up there. He never shows his face. But whatever. It is what it is. Um, that's what the price is when you become a rancer, especially when it comes to gaming community. Some of these fanboys will tear your head off virtually through the computer. It's sick as hell. I've seen it happen. 
on the common with these flame wars. It's sick. It's like high school drama all over again. Like when I used to go wait almost seven years ago. Well, next month in June, it'll be like seven years. But you guys get the gist of what I'm saying. There's only one thing I really want to say about this is this, both of the sides got to shut the hell up. Seriously, they have to because, I mean, yes, I know Microsoft, in a way, some of their graphics, I'll even admit it myself, they are just a tad bit slightly better because, you know, let's not forget, they were a computer PC company and they still are more of a PC computer type of company even before the Xbox and the Xbox 360 original ones were even developed. And I remember some people were saying that that was originally a mistake. Xbox really wasn't even really meant to exist with all the issues and problems. Now, needless to say, PS1, 2, 3, and 4, they've had their fair share of issues too. Like with the whole hackings with the Sony production, their their movie line industry, and that, that department over there. That shit got hacked like so many times. And sorry about the language, I swore, but that, that company got hacked so many times, it's ridiculous. And Xbox One's never got hacked even once. Even that whole thing like last year, December, when I talked about, if any people recall, when you saw that video of the whole lizard squad trying to take over and the most of them ended up getting arrested on the spot like a day or two later. The FBI and a whole bunch of other like government organizations, they found out where they were. They ended up getting sent in federal prison, half of them. And there's probably like one or two out there that are still on the loose, but it is what it is. And then they did the same thing for Xbox too when they tried to hack them, hack into them too, besides Sony, you know? So that's nothing new. And uh, that's pretty much all I want to say about it. And one last other thing I actually wanted to say, hold on. Another thing I have to get off my chest is not everything Xbox does is good. Even with that whole little like E3 that they do, um, some of their people, and it's funny, this has nothing to do with the article at all. Even one of the guys, I think, I think Doug, Doug Patrick or whoever do his name was, I think it was Phil Snyder. I think that's what his name was. Phil Snyder himself, I think he's one of the CEO developers of like um, for Xbox and Microsoft or whatever. It's one of the CEOs of one of those department areas over there. I'm not sure what it is, but he even said himself he would love to see Banjo Kazooie like literally in Super Smash Bros. And even though those are his competitors at Nintendo, their rivals and stuff, and some of them their business partners, some might be the best friends in the world. We don't even know it as fanboys of ourselves. I have no clue what goes behind those closed doors of billion dollar business meetings. Nobody knows unless they're like an insider for like some magazine like IGN or One Up Gaming or um, 99 Gamers, um, other places like GameSpot, Game Trailers, Twitch. Unless they work for those type of corporate organizations, they're the only ones that are getting the inside official scoop on it. Except Game Informer, I kind of start trusting them after a while because some of them are a little bit of a biased things that they say a lot. Especially when they crap a lot on Sony and Nintendo, that's kind of why I stopped reading them after a while. But that's all I had to say. Links to the articles in the description below because there were two other articles I wanted to do, but I just wanted, I didn't want to stretch this out past 10 minutes and hopefully it's under 10 minutes. And that's it. Peace out once again. Bros, women, bro, and Pegasus. So I will see you when I see you guys a good day. I have a night wherever out in the world. Don't drink smoke at the same time. Don't die in the reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep collecting out there. And until then, that's it, guys. Peace out. Ladies and goodbye. Stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Brand new videos on this channel almost every single day. With that said, um, you guys take it easy. Stay safe. Be easy. Be you. Stay healthy out there. Stay on the ground. Be easy. Be you. Do you to yourself again. <laughs> and uh, I'm out like sauerkraut. Take it easy and look out for more future content. And see you guys around. Peace.